good morning one and all so i'll be presenting the paper the, the title of my paper is retrospective analysis of csr patient in pre and post covid era i have no any financial interest uh, introduction csr is a serious condition which is characterized by localized serous detachment of the sensory retina at the macula secondary to the leakage from the corio capillaries through one or more hyperpermeable rp site so csr is a vision uh, threatening retinopathy after armd diabetic retinopathy and branch retinal vein occlusion there is an increased prevalence among men which was seen in several study approximately 72 to 88 percent of cases occurring in male patient uh, csr patient are more likely to be exposed to the oral corticosteroid medication and then and then at a higher risk of developing csr and considering the route of administration the most study reported that systemic intake that is oral or intravenous is the independent risk factor for csr uh, csr has also described after local administration of corticosteroid via uh, via other routes like inhaled or intranasal epidural intraarticular topical dermal or periocular uh, the scientists genuzi observed a correlation between the csr and type a personality pattern characterized characterized by a competitive drive urgency and aggressive nature and a and a hostile temperament another study reported high levels of emotional distress depression in csr patients now coming to the my study the objective is to determine the risk factor in covid-19 patient leading to the development of cscr so material method a retrospective observation study was done in a tertiary care center from february 2019 to january 2021 including all previously diagnosed CS cscr cases and categorized them into two group so one group is pre covid csr group with patient diagnosed with csr between february 2019 to january 2020 and a post covid csr group which was newly diagnosed csr cases between february 2020 to till january 2021 and the all the available retrospective data includes demographic detail history of any risk factor like steroid intake presenting complaint fundus photography and oct if available so the exclusion criteria in post covid group those which was previously diagnosed with csr we have excluded them and uh, if any other history like renal disorder hypertension and sleep disorder smoking and alcohol we have excluded them and any chronic csr cases in pre covid group and patient where the data was insufficient or missing now coming to the result so in the pre covid group we have 194 patient after which 132 were male 62 were female aging between 20 to 40 years in post covid group there were 290 patient in, uh, in out of which 170 were male 120 were female aging between 21 to 48 years so pre covid as well as in post covid group the csr were detected more in male as compared to female which was statistically significant and the ratio male ratio female in pre covid era was 2h to 1 and in post covid era was 1.4 issue 1 and there is increased number of csr cases in post covid group now this is the demographic table in the with in which the p value is statistically significant similarly we can see here in pre covid group we have 194 csr cases in covid group we have 290 cases now most common complaint of the patient in both pre and post covid group was uh, metamorphosia the mean duration of presentation in post covid group was 2 month visual acuity in pre covid group is ranging from 6 by 6 to 6 by 12 as compared to post covid group ranging from 6 by 6 to 6 by 24 now coming to the steroid intake we can see in the pre covid group only 10 were taking the steroid in post covid group it's 119 which was statistically significant uh, here we can also see the same thing in pre covid group only 10 as compared to the post covid group which is 119 now so out of 194 in pre covid group only 10 that is 5% patient has history of steroid intake but in post covid group that was 119 that is 41% of the history of steroid intake which was statistically significant as i have already shown in my table and bilaterality of disease is increase from 2 to 13 cases after covid that is in post covid group ocd thickness is range from 290 to 370 micron in pre covid group in comparison to post covid group which was range from 319 to 450 after two after 290 patient in post covid group only 14% had a history of hospitalization and all of them had a history of steroid intake now this is some of the photos of the patient uh, this is the fundus photograph uh, this is the ocd picture showing this neurosensory elevation with small pd now coming to the discussion there is increase in csr cases from 119 pre covid to 219 post covid group the number of male were more in both pre and post covid group which was statistically significant mean age ranging from 20 to 40 years in pre covid group as compared to 21 to 48 in post covid group there were increase in number of female cases in post covid group that is male ratio female decreasing from 2 ratio 1 in pre covid to 1.4 ratio 1 in post covid group and the post covid group there was pragmatic increase in steroid intake that was 41% consequence of which there is increase in bilaterality of disease increase in subretinal fluid in oct and decrease in male patient and only 41 that is 14% were hospitalized and all of them had history of steroid intake other with positive history had an irrational use of steroid and some of them had a history of steroid use out of stress and anxiety 
so concluding my study the covid epidemic is still going on in our country with new waves and new variant of covid still causing a havoc and our study is first of a kind that establish a correlation of csr with covid 19 and with outburst of covid cases there was a pragmatic increase in stress and anxiety in the patient and the irrational use of steroid ultimately increasing the csr cases in the post covid era these are my references thank you and dr mohit uh, that was quite illuminating uh, you try to see the difference in covid and pre covid but don't you think this is a effect of the steroid only nothing to do with the uh, covid sir uh, there's not much uh, references but there's one study which saying covid itself also increases the permeability of the uh, rp endothelial cells so yeah and uh, steroid as well as the stress which was there associated with the covid 19 Uh, all these three are the uh, mo- most common causes for which CSR has increased in the post-COVID group. So maybe we, what, what is your message at the end actually? Uh, sir, the message is uh, basically because of the anxiety. The, the the first thing is the stress, anxiety, and second is the irrational use of the steroid in the patient who don't require steroid also. Like no, they are not. All that is well established. For COVID, sir. For COVID. For COVID, yes, sir. Sir, for COVID. So why can't you say? Sir? not necessarily for covid yes sir yes, not not necessary for covid so really uh, we are not i'm not very you know convinced that no, covid convinced. yeah uh, so maybe you need further studies i'm not sure okay what you know i'm not thinking sir okay okay yes, so come here <laughs> come this sir i just wanted to say that uh, that's the bonding factor what you said yes ma'am you have not done all the things you not yeah shreya ji ko ye do paper she can mark it yeah come Uh, one more thing why it's uh, more in males otherwise what do you feel the reason is uh, sir as such there is no uh, no reason why there is more in males mm-hmm. uh, but yeah in post covid group because of this steroid it's equal in males and females please come this side one person is already presented have you heard that i'm extremely sorry my talk but have you heard that okay okay thank you so thank much you.